Hello students. Welcome to Sridhar Jalapati Aptitude Classes, an initiative of Triumphant Training Solutions. I'm sure you are already aware of the recruitment notification released by TCS company for 2023 pass out students. And this time it is going to happen through NQT test. The registration process has already started and last date to apply is 22nd July. And the test is going to start from 15th of August in different slots. I'll be providing the link to apply for the job if you have not applied it. And interestingly, this time the TCS is calling, calling this NQT test as integrated test. Let us see what is this integrated test. Integrated test is a test pattern, which is for both Ninja role and digital role to hire as a fresher at TCS for both Ninja and digital role. It is the test. And candidates need to appear for the single test and based on the performance candidate will be qualified for the interview, either for Ninja role or for digital role. And for Ninja role, TCS is offering 3.3 lakhs per annum. Whereas for a digital role, it is offering seven lakhs package per annum. So integrated test is a common test for both Ninja role and digital role. Last year, this was not the case. They separated, a, uh, they conducted a separate test for Ninja role as well as separate test for digital role. But this time the test is unique, but based on the performance, you will be qualified for either Ninja or digital interviews. Now, if you see the test pattern in detail, the test consists two sections and both sections are mandatory for the student. They are calling the sections as part A foundation section and part B advanced section. As a part of foundation section, you will have three major sections, numerical ability, verbal ability, and reasoning ability. For each section, you will be given with 25 minutes time. So it's a total of 75 minutes test. By the way, we have no information about number of questions. And similarly, part B is followed by part A immediately without any gap. And part B, they have named it as advanced section. In that also, there are three major sections, advanced quantitative ability, advanced reasoning ability, advanced coding. All together, it's a total of 90 minutes test. So part A and part B together is total for 166 minutes, almost three hours duration. So this is the test pattern and this they are calling it as integrated test pattern. By the way, what will be the outcomes of the test? I have worked out different possibilities. These are the possible chances. Suppose if you clear part A section and part B section, as well as interview, then you will be considered for digital role. If you clear part A as well as part B, but unfortunately you did not well in the interview, then you will be considered for Ninja role. You cleared part A, but you failed in part B section and you cleared the interview, then you will be considered for Ninja role. Suppose you clear part A, but you have not cleared part B, but you did excellent in interview then you may be considered for digital role as well based on your excellent performance in interview. Suppose you clear part A, but you failed part B. That's what I said. If you clear, if you do excellent performance, you will be considered for digital role. Now, sometimes you failed in part B, part A, but you cleared part B section and you cleared interview also based on your performance in the interview, you will be considered for Ninja or digital role. So these are the possible chances and the outcomes of the test. By the way, who are eligible for this TCS NQT 2023 integrated test? This NQT 2023 is exclusively open for students graduating in the year 2023. Normally in TCS website, NQT test happens throughout the year. You can apply any time and you can write the exam. But this NQT, which is happening from 15th of August, which is called as integrated test is exclusively for a 2023 pass outs. And any student who is pursuing beta graduation, irrespective of the branch. So all the beta graduates, B, M tech, M E, M C A, M S C, M S in any specialization offered by a recognized university or college 
are eligible to apply for this integrated test. What are the required academic credentials for this TCS NQT 2023 test? The student should have a minimum of 60% aggregate in all the subjects and on all the semesters or six CGPA. I hope you all know how to convert percentage to CGPA. If not, you can Google it and you can convert your percentage to CGPA. So you must have a minimum aggregate of 60% or six CGPA in each of class 10th, class 12th, diploma, if you are from graduation or post-graduation, whatever is applicable. And you should not have more than one backlog when you are appearing for the TCS selection process. That means you cannot have more than one backlog. That means you can have one backlog to appear for the process. But suppose if you are, if you get selected, then you should not have any pending backlogs at the time of joining TCS. So to appear one backlog is allowed, but if you get selected at the time of joining, you cannot have any backlogs. So you have to understand this point carefully. Is gap break in education allowed? Of course, yes. But they are saying that it is mandatory to declare gaps in education if there are any, and a maximum of 24 months gap is allowed starting from schooling to highest qualification. In overall educational education uh, career, a maximum of 24 months, that is two years gap is allowed. Is the test offline or online? Test is definitely online. Test is definitely online. But this time they are offering two options. You can select in center, that is TCS ION centers, or you can select remote option. That means you can take from your home, college, internet, office, whatever, wherever. Now, since you have two options, you can select any of them. But interestingly, understand and note this point that once you select one of these two options while applying for the job, no further changes would be permitted in changing the test mode. Whatever you select at the time of application, that will be final. Personally, I suggest you to select TCS in center, that is in center mode, because uh, as this test is for all the students, all the graduates across the country, as lakhs of students are applying, sometimes when you take from your home or college or from any remote place, the servers may not be cooperative as too many people are taking the exam at a time. But if you take in TCS ion center, it is their duty to keep their computers up to date. And you will not have any kind of power failures or issues. If so, as you are taking the exam in the center, it is their responsibility to provide an alternate. So, it's up to you which center, which mode you select. But my personal suggestion is to select in center mode. Now, to prepare for this TCS NQT 2023, I have prepared a video course, an excellent video course for both part A and part B without coding technology, without coding section. I am offering 50 hours of video sessions and 1000 plus uh, material, uh, PDF questions, uh, which are, you know, uh, previous year questions as well as practice questions. All this is just for rupees 349. And as a part of this course, you will get the videos on all the quantitative ability topics as well as reasoning ability topics. Last year, TCS has involved some interesting topics which are not part of any other competitive exam, especially IT recruitment exam. Topics like elementary statistics, decision making, problem solving. I am providing videos of all those topics in my video course. And all this is, as I said, just for rupees 349. And this video course is not only useful for TCS, and it is for all other recruitment exams, as well as uh, higher education entrance exams. At the same time, you can use it for public sector recruitment exams as well. How to buy this course? You make a digital payment of rupees 349 to the number provided 9246532050 and fill the Google form. After filling the Google form, within six hours, you will get an email with all the course contents. Remember, this course is valid for six months. I will be providing all this information in the description. Wish you all the best and do apply today itself and start your preparation today itself.